Well, we'd like to welcome Roberta Stevens, who will be the incoming ALA president at the conclusion of this conference, and we, we appreciate the opportunity to talk with you. And we want to talk about, uh, first, about the advocacy thing that has been begun by uh, the presidential predecessors of yours, and, and you're going to continue that effort. And why do you think that remains key for the association? Well, it's key for the association because without advocacy, we are really not going to be getting the types of attention and financial support that we have to have. You know, the, the squeaky wheel gets soiled, and we know that. And so, if, you know, in a time when money is very, very tight for uh, local governments, for state governments, the federal government, it's the groups that can get out there and speak most loudly about themselves and to really highlight their achievements and what role they play in the success of their community or their institution or, or even the nation itself that are going to be getting the support. It's, it's important to be central, key, pivotal, and that's really what libraries are. We are central, key, and pivotal. We're the heart and the soul and the mind of our communities and of our uh, academics, our academic institutions, our schools, etc. So it is, it is vital that we get our message out and that we get other people in particular getting the message out on our behalf so that we can in fact be always in the forefront of the institute or of the uh, body that is going to be giving us money and supporting us because otherwise our services will go away. We depend on that money to be able to provide the services, to have the staffing, and to have the types of facilities and collections that make a library a success. So that's, I continue in the pattern of a number of library, or ALA uh, presidents that have gone before me who have made this a central theme of their presidency. Now in addition to advocacy, what are some of the key challenges and opportunities that the nation's libraries face? Well, we, there are a number of challenges that we are facing and these are really our opportunities as well. We, we are, our mission, our goal, our objective is really to be 21st century libraries. And 20, what does that mean? What are the challenges of 21st century library? We are, we have to be libraries whose facilities really reflect how people work and learn today. Mm -hmm. We have to have libraries where our librarians are blended librarians. They have not only traditional library skills, but they also have the technological skills that are so important in this day and age when information is conveyed um, heavily electronically and we're having to sort through an enormous amount of information to pull out what is really vital, vital and needed, the right information at the right time and quickly. And in addition, we um, also need to uh, be keeping up to date with our skills and I think that's really where the American Library Association is playing uh, a bigger and bigger and bigger role all the time and that's because you don't necessarily have to go to a training course somewhere. We're making available opportunities to keep your skills right up to date, cutting edge through webinars and e-learning courses and there's an explosion of them. It's really a great role for the, li for the um, American Library Association to help our librarians be, in fact, those blended librarians. Yes. Now, what more can the association do to aid those libraries who are facing budget cuts and closures, and in many instances, still book challenges? Well, we have, of course, our resources within the association um, itself, but you know, we have a website which is rich with materials, and so I would encourage uh, our, our members um, and the people who are their supporters to be accessing our advocacy university, which is filled as a, you know, a part of the website that has many toolkits that can help you and all kinds of information for you to build the support that you need and for you to frame your message to the, to the funders mm -hmm. so that they understand why you should be funded. So there, there are tools that are up on the website. There are staff at the American Library Association that you can consult with. And you should be networking with the other members of the association. We have a, a wonderful opportunity through ALA Connect to, for you to be talking with others, others in uh, other college uh, and research library, uh, members, members of uh, ACRL, uh, 
school librarians, you know, you can, your, the network is very, very, very big there. And so I would encourage people to use any means possible to get the answers to the questions that they have. Now your immediate predecessor, well, we're making that transition now, well, Camilla Lillieri has had launched the Presidential Initiative for Spectrum. Uh, will you continue that effort? Absolutely. We are committed to that. And when the Spectrum Presidential Initiative was announced, we all would express our total and complete commitment. And uh, we have 100% of our executive board of the American Library Association who have supported the Spectrum Presidential Initiative. And we are now moving on 100% of our council, the governing body, to be supporters. We have reached out to past presidents. And we're reaching out to the members to have all of us recognize the importance of having our librarians in our libraries who reflect their communities and, w and individuals at their communities, people who may be intimidated by coming into a library, may not be so familiar with their library that they can walk through the door and see people that say, yes, I can approach that person. Yes, that person, that person looks like me. Mm -hmm. So, um, so member, individual members can make contributions to this Absolutely, and you can make um, <clears throat> contributions um, this year, next year, mm -hmm. and you can make them through the ALA website. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, the association itself has been facing some budget issues. Uh, how can it continue to provide the level of services that members currently enjoy in, in light of these troubling uh, financial times? There, there are, you know, clearly what we want to do is we want to maintain our membership at a level so that we, in fact, have the resources that are needed to keep, keep the American Library Association as what it has been, the biggest, the and, the and the, I think, greatest library association in the entire world. We really are the model. And I say that because I've traveled to other countries, and we truly are the model for the world. So we, we want to have an engaged membership. If we have an engaged membership, and we have a membership who feels they're contributing, and they're getting something back from the American Library Association, we will continue. We will make it through this time, which is a bit tighter. Than, um, than has been in the past. And of course, we have really looked very carefully at the expenses within the organization and we'll continue to look at how we can become more efficient. You know, we, uh, we want to be responsive, but we want to be responsive smartly yes. to, our, to our membership. And so this is an ongoing effort and it's an effort where you pull in all parts of the American Library Association, not just the, uh, the association at the ALA level, but also at the divisional level and roundtable level as well. It is an engagement that we all have to be part of to be sure that we are, in fact, providing the services that our members want so that they want to continue to be a member and that they feel it's important to pay those dues to be a part of this organization. And I can testify to the fact that that is going on. I had a lunch with um, the division president Lex, and they are filled with ideas about how to make their divisions more productive, more effective, and more responsive to their members. Well, is there anything else that you'd like to add or say to our membership? Well, just that I look forward very much to this year, and that I will, um, I promise that I will be fully, total, totally, wholeheartedly, unreservedly committed to uh, being as effective as uh, one could possibly be as president. I will do whatever I can to ensure that we have a strong organization, that our libraries are, are strong, and that our library staff are rewarded as they should be for their efforts. Uh -huh.